Back in the 70s, when I first started out, um, uh, we were just coming out of the Vietnam War, uh, and I remember going, and all of a sudden you had to wait in these long lines at a gas station. You can only get gas on a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday if you had a certain odd tag or whatever. And I just thought it was like really depressing. The music on the radio at the time seemed to be just nothing, you know. And I thought, man, we need something to pick up, you know, pick pick the spirits up here and everything. <laughs> KC and Sunshine Band did what no one had done since 1964. They scored four number one records in a single year. I mean, there were some crazy times. I mean, it was crazy during the 70s for us. I mean, we were a huge, we performed in some venues where they, the crowd would just come down on the stage, uh, swim across rivers and things to see us. I mean, you know, actually push the limousines where we got, it was very frightening. But KC wasn't ready for what happened next. He was driving to dinner one evening in 1982 when his car was struck head on. And I, I remember it was a very frightening experience. I mean, to wake up uh, in the hospital and I was like, had part paralysis on the, my right side and just thinking, wow, am I ever going to be able to dance again? Am I going to be able to move again? You know, where will I go from here? It seemed like everything just was a mess, you know. And from there, I just went from one drug to another and drinking, and that was it. And I didn't want to do it anymore. KC spent the next decade in near isolation. Days he spent on his boat, and nights he played alone at the piano. By the end of the 80s, his friends tuned him into the radio. Seems the hottest new bands were sounding a lot like the old KC. And that's when I really realized that I was really missing it. That, yeah, that's where I really need to be. I don't need to be here doing drugs and just being a, a bum, you know, even though I can afford to be, uh, I just, it was time. It was just time. So where is he now? Harry Wayne Casey's closing in on middle age. But on stage, his steps are still just as happening. Set, set, set. Actually, being on stage now, at times, is like as if time has stood still. Like it never went away. I mean, it's the strangest feeling to have, but it really is as if, you know, time hasn't moved. I mean, the response is the same. Um, I could, you know, uh, it's crazy. It's, it's great. I'm having the best time of my life right now.